the saga continues online blow for blow we had chris tyson and nick Merckx going blow for blow and then underneath all of that bulls we got ourselves jake the viking a former member of the mr beast cast now we, we said something about him in the last video um now we're saying something about it in this one ironically enough this is also coming for the Dr. Disrespect situation. So let's see what he says. So drama alert ends a tweeting. OG Mr. Beast crew member Jake the Viking agrees with Nick Smirks claims on trans people. Nick Smirks directly responding to the uh, to Chris Tyson, whose response was to Dr. Disrespect situation. Jay Franklin says, shout out at Keemstar, getting my story wrong. I agree on what Nick was saying about Chris. There's a difference. Num gnome. To which Mr. Beast says, first of all, my team posted that, not me. Second of all, isn't that the same thing? Isn't that the same thing? What What are you even talking about? Jobless gnome. Jake Franklin responds with, so you don't control your team. Wild. Second, that sentence makes no sense. Learn some grammar. I'm self-employed and my job doesn't revolve around reporting what people do on the internet because I have no other talent. Just remember, you wanted to meet me at the Airsoft Battle Royale, little bro. Dude talks the most behind his keyboard and camera, which is insane. So Keemstar follows it up with this response. Ah, oh, Jake's having a bad day. He's in his feels. A lot of crying going on on the Twitter. And why are you quote retweeting? Makes you look fucking thirsty. You know, you could just reply. You could just reply. But you're not talking directly to me. You're trying to talk to the few followers that you got. Like, that's what you're trying to do, to get attention. First of all, you said let them know, all right? If you looked at the whole conversation of what Nick Merckx was talking about, how Chris responded, and then you quote tweeting that response, it's very unclear that you're talking about just Chris, all right? It's very unclear. Now you clarified later, and I'm happy to update it, but when you clarified, you're like, you got this story wrong. No, we didn't get the fucking story wrong. All right, we're going off a of base of you responding to that entire fucking conversation. As far as my only talents are talking about other people, I made my first million long before I even started Dromler, making my own content, my own gaming fucking content and doing my own fucking shit. And I've done many things other than Dromler. All you've done has been an extra in Mr. Beast videos. That's it. That's your only claim to fame, your only claim to success. That's it. So I don't know why you're talking about that. Um, but I suggest you get a fucking tissue, wipe those eyes, and have a great day. And then Jake replies with this. You're right, dude. Terrible day here, man. Been crying practically all day. You see it on Twitter. I'm just crying my eyes out, man. But dude, I'll give you one thing, Keem. The quote retweeting. You're right. We're doing that for some attention. We're just taking advantage of the moment. You know all about that, don't you, buddy? And then to bring up the follower count. Why is it you people always bring up follower counts? Whenever you get into a conversation or argument, a follower count gets brought in. Who fucking cares, bro? Your followers ain't going to show up for you if you have to fight. <laughs> All right, then. And then we go to the Chris comment. I think it's blatantly obvious what I was saying. I said, let him know to Nick Merck saying you should be ashamed for abandoning your wife and kid. 100%. I don't know. I don't know how you missed that. Oh, wait, no, no. It was your team. I don't know how your team missed that, right? It was your team? Yeah. I don't know how your team missed that. And then to say my only claim to success was Mr. Beast. That's fucking wild, bro. That's wild. But dude, see, you prove my point. You do the most talking behind a camera and a keyboard. I would call your ass out to do a boxing match on your little happy punch promo shit, and you'd still say no. That's crazy response. That's honestly a diesel response from Jake. I honestly think he won the argument with that. And then on top of that, he points to his D1 time with LSU. Louisiana State University, baby. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. And then Keem follows it up with this. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. You didn't say let him know. You didn't say let him know. You said let him know. Let him know. Let him know. Referring to multiple people. Let him know. So it wasn't obviously clear. And as far as the boxing thing, let me get my step letter out. Do you really fucking think, Jake, that I won't climb up there to eight feet tall and knock your... Okay, I'm not going to box you. Fuck off, retard. <laughs> Keem once again trolling, being very funny. It took that gracious L though. Guys, let me know what you guys think of this beef. Is it whack? Is it cap? Let me know. I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. For more updates, please subscribe to Flatly Talking. And if you want to get in on the drama, come join the Discord. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. Turd Island merch in the description. Also, we got AWT merch going out. Um, limited time only. It's only here for the month of July. So let me know what you guys think. I'll see you all later.